Right, so I've had to bite the bullet and download the video. That that player was just became unworkable. Just froze up, wouldn't do anything. Not even any granular control to do anything with it. So back to where we left off. I'll apologise if there's any audio changes I've not picked up on. <laughs> do go on. So in this, in this one, this is this is usually over the head of uh, Stu Peters. He loves this one for some reason. Um, it, it's neat and it shows uh, disassembly and assembly. But for anybody watching, um, just pick a spot. Just pick a spot anywhere on here and watch what happens as it shrinks and grows. Um, in particular, this one does a really... Oh yeah, the old, um, look into my eyes, not around the eyes. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, the eyes, the eyes, look around the eyes, look around the eyes, look into my eyes. Look at that You're spot. Under. What you see before is a complete set of black out of videos. There was no black out of three. Anyway, it's called black out of the third. Three, so, two, one. You're back what's going to happen is all these particles you can see are going to flow off in that direction. The reason being is water was added to this. This was an original, or should I say, a originally it was a formed slice of a hopper crystal in very, very shallow solution. So it couldn't form its full hopper structure. That's generally what happens on these slides. That's what happened in my slides. Go watch that video if you want. Uh, but this is a very, very shallow solution. So what they do or he does, or whoever, they introduce water. Now, the water comes in from this direction, but because what they've done is clever, they've, re well, not really clever, but they've reversed the playback. So this is actually playing backwards. So it was originally a fully formed crystal, and then they introduce water. It causes the crystal to break down like this, and then they reverse the footage. And you can see that via these particles when they move. I've not watched this particular um, cast that they've done, but I have seen this before on another Grifters channel. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's watch it anyway, and you'll see these particles are gonna move down and that signifies that water being introduced that way, but the playback being reversed. So let's go. Weird thing. So there's a donut in the middle of this little rectangle. He cruises uh, all the way over here and then comes out. And then there's another one right here that does something weird. There's a again, they're trying to get you to focus to down so on a point. Like a Ignore that and look at the whole picture. To it and Maria, um, you can drive. So this is shrinking. So this was fresh out of uh, a Faraday enclosure. So if you look so at our particles here. It was going away and it was completely removed from any EMF whatsoever. So you can start to see these things shrinking down and then the individual components, you can see this is almost like a windshield wiper. You can see this start to move. Um, this little pocket here, you can see what happens, it's crazy. So see how it's just leaving? It's just yes. bailing out. It's, it's, it's decided to leave. This one, which came from up here, is sort of along with it. So here's about where the router gets turned back on. So remember, this water has been added from this direction. The reason why the water's flowing in that direction is because this video has been reversed in editing to make it look like it's not dissolving. So effectively what's happening is the ion bonds being broken down in the salt. Hang on. That's a straight line. Is that where... Is that the outline of the submerged crystal? It begins to break down. Hang on a minute. It is. That's we've got this line here, but that's clearly just contamination um, or a scratch maybe on the slide. But that is very well defined. 
Okay, let's have a look at that. But remember about this flow. So you'll notice, basically when the water droplet left the pipette and they put it down, the very leading edge of that water droplet would have been really slow. So when we're looking at the very, very end of this and we have a formed crystal, that water droplet is just being introduced in the leading edge. Now, as the droplet leaves the pipette, the almost globe of water will collapse in on itself. And then that's why, if you think of it backwards, this footage started off with quite fast flow, but ended with really slow flow, or is going to end with really slow flow. And also that flow will have to stop because they started with that crystal in very, very shallow water. So all this debris that you're seeing some of it that doesn't flow off, that didn't come from the pipettes, i.e. flowing in. Some of this will ground to a halt somewhere and just stop moving. And that, I'm pretty sure, I've not really looked at that before, but I think that's where that crystal ends. But it might not be where it totally ends because this is a hopper crystal and hopper crystal are like a step. So it's like a pyramid. Um, imagine an inverted set of stairs. It's like that, the form in sheets, and then there'll be a smaller sheet. Just Google salt hover crystals if you want to see that, but either the leading edge meets that, or it just steps over it, and that's the underlying sheet. I've just noticed that. But yeah, watch these particles anyway. And lo and behold, it starts to grow. So you can start to see the edges. It it, it, it it almost... Now he's stopping and starting this and it's choppy. Um, you can actually tell how when he's using this, their little, um, I suppose, little bar there, he's manipulating that and moving it. So it's making it choppy. It's not quite in sync with the frame rate. It's very choppy. I'd like to see that being played smoothly to be fair instead of him dragging this across speeding it up or whatever but uh, yeah let's anyway pay attention to these particles as they flow that way that's contra to the actual flow from the pipette as they put the water on assuming it's a pipette or a syringe wrinkles up like a piece of tinfoil yes it's doing something and that's the only thing that i can take away from this without knowing a heck of a lot more about nanotechnology again he's messing with the speed, he's speeding it forward. But you can see now there's more defined shapes starting to form here. I think that is the submerged salt crystal. I really do think it is. Wow. So that's the that router turning off, the router turning back. Keep watching these particles, by the way, because I can come back and address this. Don't worry about that. Just keep watching these particles as the the water flows in. But obviously, it's reversed. They're going that way. But the in real time, they are going up towards the top. Back on and look at it going. Yep. Now it's forming straight edges. It is. And corners. It's re and re recreating some of the individual components and they might not be identical so <laughs> this could actually be a programmable way to build to delete a, a, a circuit and and recreate another one you'll notice i really starting to one. slow down now yeah. this is the leading this edge of the water astounding i mean I've, I've seen and he's really starting to annoy me with this because it's it's just jagged but all these particles are becoming static basically they're starting to stall so now what's happened is the flow of water coming in has stopped or is the sort of say the leading edge of the water has retracted because it's been reversed footage of of the assembly before there we go the beginning to stall and everything but just to watch it go from what looks coming like to a blob, stop i want to ask you both do salt crystals ever go from blob to straight edged uh when they're exposed i know i, I Hello, well, um, future bear here. I actually, while I'm editing this, I just thought I'd take a snippet out and reverse it about 240%. And here it is. 
So if you watch this now, this is in reverse. So basically, I've, I've reversed what they reversed. Um, yeah, so if you watch this. If you look at the flow. And the debris. It's clearly a dissolving salt crystal. But what's quite annoying is they are messing around with, you know, they're doing all kinds of time shifts there. But uh, I'll just play that back again. So from here, watch the flow of liquid start to come in from the bottom right. And the top left can observe loads of air bubbles and debris moving as well. And you can clearly see it dissolving. And again. Here we go. You can clearly see the flow of solution dissolving it. And as previously discussed in the video, that solution comes to a halt. So I'll play it back one last time. If you look at just prior um, to the water coming in, there is a complete standstill, and then suddenly things start moving. Now, surely shouldn't it be the other way round if this was forming and not dissolving? So from here, everything's quite still, calm. Now suddenly... There's an acceleration, although they're making it choppy by moving through the frames. Possibly doing that on purpose, but now look at the speed of the flow. Crafty, grifting bastards. So we've gone from a reasonably high flow rate to really slowing down to a stop. The stop was its static stationary state. This was already grown, this salt crystal, in the dish, and they've added water in and reversed the bloody video. See, this is the level of deception here. This isn't, oh, just we're really interested in why this is. Say hypothetically, there was salt crystals in the Pfizer vaccine. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got the lurgy. So let's say there was salt crystals, and it was a bit like, oh, this is unusual. Why is this happening? They've left the slide of the sample on the side. It's dehydrated. These salt crystals have just popped up like they do when the sodium and the chloride ions rebond out of solution. So, let's say that happened. Well, you could say, fair play. You know, oh, you made a mistake, or, oh, it's not what you thought it was. But this is clear deception. Somebody has introduced water to an existing formed... Or a, a, a salt form, or a salt crystal that was existing. Introduced water and reversed the video frames, so it plays backwards. Clear and obvious deception. Not good. Not good. Uh, when they're exposed, I know, I already know the answer, when they're exposed to EMF. Have we ever seen a salt crystal shrink and then come back and form straight edges? 
or uh, or a cholesterol crystal i can i can answer that i actually took control images of uh salt crystal forming from saline solution so they do form straight edges they don't have these uh, elaborate components within they're just you know just square crystals that look transparent and the only way to dissolve them is to add water to the sample so to to dissolve the crystal right nothing like this and nothing related to electric that is a another clear and blatant they are laughing at you he's just literally described what is happening here He's just literally said, yes, unless they're dissolving in water. They're just taking the piss out of you. They really are. They're just sheer grifters, but not only grifters, but they're just they're laughing at you. He's just made a, a very vague description of what's happening before you. He's just stopped shy of saying yes, and then you play it back on the video and they grow. Wow. What an absolute... Yeah. <laughs>